Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Please like and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can see when I post. I try to post every Tuesday um, at 8 a.m. And uh, I've been fairly consistent with that since I've started the channel and I'm hoping that makes it easier for you to find these videos. Well, now that that's out of the way, uh, I finally got out for my fall walk and I shot a video taking you guys with me. Now I will warn you, it was a bright sunny fall day, it was beautiful, but there is a bit of lens flare so you might notice um, a bit of lens flare on the video. I cut out the worst um, pieces but I had to leave uh, a lot of it in as well. So. I take you with me on this video down to the river and we check out the, um, there's a little seating area along the river that overlooks the river and it's just beautiful. The fall colors are starting to come in. I also take you with me through the park and through the wooded walk area. Now I don't do the full path, I only do the paved part of the path with you folks and um, the fall colors here, I'll pre-warn you. I'm in Drumheller, um, which is in the province of Alberta. And if you're, oh, hello. <laughs> if you're from an Eastern province, um, you guys get the brilliant reds. Out here, we don't really get the, the reds. So out here, the fall colors tend to be yellow, orange, brown, and of course the summer green as it transitions out. There will be a little bit of red here and there. I think there's a few bushes. I, I don't know um, what type of plant they are. All I know is that um, the sugar maples out east do not grow here. The soil is wrong and the climate is wrong. It just is not compatible in any way with sugar maples. So um, we do have a couple, I think one of the red ones is called a Japanese maple. You can't get maple syrup from it as far as I know. It's not a sugar maple. Um, but they grow rather low to the ground. Uh, they don't get very large. So you'll notice along the path um, there might be a little bit of red here and there but nothing like you're uh, used to out east or that you'll see online when you look up uh, fall foliage pictures. It just uh, doesn't really happen out here. So the intent of this video was to just take you on a relaxing outing with me. Like I said, uh, it was a beautiful, warm, sunny fall day with the leaves changing color. I got out around 10 o'clock before uh, really anybody else came to the park. So it was perfect timing. And I hope you find this video relaxing and enjoyable. Now, this is uh, Drumheller. We have a lot of walking trails. So if you are in the area, by all means, pop on by, hit the walking trails, get some outdoor activity, enjoy the fresh air. We have trails that, um, like one of my earlier videos shows um, a little walking area out behind um, the Royal Trail Museum in the Badlands there. Um, it's amongst the coolies. We have walking trails out by the hoodoos and all along the river. So Drumheller is not lacking for walking trails. And if you like being outside and you're in our area, by all means, come on over for a visit. Some of the trails are just dirt, some are gravel, and some are paved. So depending on what your mobility is like and your physicality is like, we have a wide variety of walking trails for you to explore. Now, while I have your attention, and like I said, I mentioned that I'm in Drumheller. If there's anything in particular you would like me to take a video of, to go explore, just let me know. If there's something um, you haven't seen, maybe you have been to Drumheller and you haven't been here for years, uh, but you remember the big dinosaur, or you remember uh, the museum, or you remember the coal mine or something, and you'd like an update on what's going on there just to see it again, let me know. If I can swing it, I will go ahead and shoot a vid video and post it here. A video. I don't know what a video is, but yeah, I'll do that too. <laughs> so if you want me to do um, more of a trail 
let me know and I'll go ahead and shoot that as well. If you'd like some more rugged trail than the paved trail, then again, just let me know. Now the entire trail system in Drumheller is uh, long. <laughs> um, I, I actually don't know off the top of my head how many kilometers it is. Uh, I want to say 20, but um, yeah, that number could be outdated because they're always making changes to the trails. They're always expanding and depending on the weather, some of our trails, especially along the river, some of them get washed out. Um, generally, the town will redo the trails, just kind of move it over. They um, like the trail system is part of the flood mitigation. So lots of the trails are built on top of uh, dikes and dams and that sort of thing or berms. I think they're called berms. Anyways, large mounds of dirt that <laughs> line the river with a path on top. So, uh, yeah, if you'd like me to head on out, just let me know. So leave a comment down below. And like I said, if I can swing it, I will do a video. And if a lot of people, a lot, there's like nine of you that are subscribed to me. But if all nine of you request I do something, I will go out and do it. All right. So that's it. Until next week, I hope you stay happy and healthy, and I hope you find this video relaxing. All right, take care, everybody. Bye.